Hi, I'm Garrett Biss. So if you're living in addiction recovery, or if you've ever struggled with substance use disorder or addiction, then one thing that you've faced many times in your life, most likely, is anxiety. Many people, when they find themselves in recovery, this is one of the greatest challenges they have is the constant feelings of anxiety and the overwhelm, the things that keep coming up. Actually, for many people that have struggled with substance use disorder or addiction, many times the things that create anxiety in our life are some of the same pains that lead us toward those behaviors and towards uh, relying on those substances to begin with. So I wanna share a couple things that we can do in our lives to overcome and deal with that anxiety so it doesn't spiral out of control and continue to define our lives in a negative way uh, as it does for many people. So first to understand a little bit more about what anxiety is, the sensation of anxiety comes up when we feel like we're out of control or when we feel like we're facing a situation where we don't have control and therefore there might be outside uh, factors or influences or threats that could affect us and we don't have control over them. And this can show up in many different ways. It could be lack of control over you know, our physical health, over our relationships, over our job, over our employment, over our well-being. There's many things that can kind of come up on the conscious mind that we can recognize are sources of this anxiety. But many times for most people, it's things that we're not aware of. It's things that are, that are you know, threats that are identified subconsciously that are the source of or plant the seed for this anxiety when it comes up. So understanding what it is and when it comes up, one of the easiest things that we can do, one of the quickest things that we can do is physically move. And by that, I mean move your body, literally, or move your location. If there's a place where you are, the environment that you're in, uh, just moving it, changing it, changing the energy, changing the space, changing the environment, changing the activity, whatever you're doing, by moving and making that change, it can go a long way to help release and start to relieve some of that anxiety. Unfortunately, many of us, when we feel that anxiety, we don't want to do anything and we just kind of, uh, you know, we'll, we'll quiver, we'll huddle up, waiting for that anxiety to pass. But in doing so, we're actually prolonging that anxiety. And if we were to make some, make some movements, do something to change our environment, our mind, our attention, our activities, it would alleviate that anxiety much quicker. So the first thing we can do is move. Just move your location, move your body. If you're sitting down and you're feeling anxious and you can't leave, you can't go outside, you can't go somewhere else, just stand up and move your body. Just making those different motions does a couple things that are great for anxiety. The first thing is, you know, it helps that energy move through your body. So emotions are just energy that are in our body that manifest in a certain uh, uh, non-physical way, in an emotional way. But so by moving our body, it helps move that emotional energy through us. It also does another thing that's very uh, effective and critical for dealing with anxiety is it moves our attention to something else. A lot of times we continue to ruminate on something that's creating that anxiety. And the more that we think about it, the more that anxiety builds up. So by getting up, by thinking about what you might do, just by getting up and thinking about stretching and feeling the sensations in your body and feeling your toes and noticing your breath. These are little things that we can do to move the focus of our mind to something else, something that is not going to continue to spur that anxiety. The second thing, and this sounds kind of counterintuitive, uh, is don't resist that anxiety. So emotions that come up in us, the, the, the normal lifespan of an emotion is about 90 seconds. So an emotion will come up, whether it's good or bad, and it will dissipate or it will alleviate or it will flow through us in about 90 seconds. That is not true when we do something to resist that emotion or we do something to try to hold on to that emotion. If we try to extend a positive emotion, uh, then there's only so long that we can extend it before it starts to have negative consequences. A lot of times when these negative emotions like anxiety or fear or frustration come up, we'll try to resist that uh, by whether it's, whether it's huddling up, whether it's tensing our body. There's different things that we do to try to resist that emotion because we don't want to feel it. But sometimes the fastest way to move through that emotion is to just naturally just notice it, allow that emotion to move through the body, uh, become more mindful of that sensation, noticing where it is in your body, and then noticing other things about your body that aren't, that aren't associated with that emotion and taking some control over those things. Like I said, anxiety comes up when we feel like we have a lack of control, and that can be over anything. So taking, doing something small to, that allows us to take control over something can be a great step towards moving through that anxiety in the moment and dealing more effectively with anxiety in the future. So that third part, just taking control of something, you can do this as you're allowing that emotion to move through your body. You can take control of your body by standing up, by stretching, by doing certain movements with your body. You can take control of your body by going for a walk around the room, around the block, around the office, and you can take control of your breath, something that's so simple, something that we always have control over just focusing your attention to your breath 
can really start to alleviate some of that anxiety. And then by modulating our breath, by taking a deep inhale, by, by uh, allowing a deep exhale and taking control of our breath, it focuses our attention again and gives us back a sense of control. We feel that anxiety. Anxiety is that it's worse when we feel like we have no control over any area of our life. Just by taking a little bit of control over something, whether it's as simple as your breath or your body movement, uh, can begin to alleviate that anxiety. So I wanted to share this with you. If anxiety is a problem that you face and it's something that comes up and you're not sure how to deal with it or you know, you've tried different things and it hasn't worked, here's some very simple things. Sometimes we just gotta go back to the basics. Let's go back to the basics and come up with some of and, and apply some of these really simple ways for dealing with our anxiety more effectively. If this helps or if you would like some more information, I do have some other resources for dealing with anxiety, some other exercises, some things that you can go through. If you haven't done so, you can go over to firststepstothrive.com Sign up for the First Steps of Thriving in Your Recovery free video training series. And one of the resources that I will send you is some other ways to deal with and overcome that anxiety. Hope this helps. Thanks for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to share this with friends. And I'd love for to see your comments. Comment uh, if this helps you. Let me know how. If it doesn't help you, if you have any other questions, please share it in the comments below. Anyway, have a great day.